Allahu Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Maryam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes, assalamu alaikum, bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, Kash. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Jazakallah uh, khair. So the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for our trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art, it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever, you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem, so how deep is the lyrical content, how um, how relevant is it to the audience, how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem. And second of all, um, the the powerful thing about slam poetry, and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry, is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience. So it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper, it's about how that message is delivered. Um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate. So no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them and that's something very personal and we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so yeah, so without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. As Assalamu alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Rican Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Deaf Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Sahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theater in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Sahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Um, so welcome. Is actually from England, 
and his name is Annotate. That's his poetry name, but he's going to introduce himself however he sees fit, inshallah. So please welcome Brother Annotate to the stage. I guess you can call this a stage, right? And the stage is yours, brother. Introduce yourself and go for it. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, poet from the UK. Um, I've been doing this performance poet thing for a few years now. I do um, with a collective called The Flow Poet Collective as well, run by Natalie Stewart, who is very well known. Um, also known as The Flow Assist with Flowetry, the group, uh, work with her. Um, so yeah, uh, performed in some big destinations in the UK. But um, this poem is called Life is Short. I can't see or hear anybody, so hopefully everyone can hear me and whatnot. <clears throat> Life is short. Life is short. So concern yourself with every detail like pedantic parents nitpicking in the early 2000s. It's astounding how easily we are misled by media myths like ignorance is bliss. But me? I'm more Aerosmith. With all that's at stake, I wouldn't want to miss a thing. Gluttony. They say don't get too caught up like a captures mitt, but we only get one shot at this like it's 1917, so I intend to make the most of it, you see. No one said it would be easy. But I'm just trying to give you some free pointers like Stephen Curry, the ball's in your court. So don't lose your drive in the trenches and have your headspace jam when your ambition's bagged by those monsters. You have to trust him, even when life's grim. We're all battling demons and pleading for an end that sees us ascend through earth's ceiling. So just turn and beseech him while firmly seeking the means to leave this world beaming. Because provided you believe it, you have everything you need to make ceasing as appealing as fruit eating in the Garden of Eden. I'm just saying, it's time we all prepare for that meeting with the one who gave life to everything that we see here. So like child adoption, it's advised you foster healthy relationships and keep good companionship tight-knit like a seamstress. So when you seem stressed, support's only a phone call away like a helpline request. We all need that friend that help us de-stress when we've had our buttons pressed because, let's face it, most friends are only around when it suits them. The type to dress you down when you need help tying up loose ends and require the sort of attention that only exists in real friendships. The reality is, life will put you in front of more punches than Mike Tyson. But it's in your genes to succeed in this ring like John Cena. All you have to do is stand in front of one round like an ultrasound and believe in yourself. We all make mistakes, but you gotta keep it under wraps like a Nikabi. And hide your sins like you would your pin withdrawing at a cash machine. You don't wanna risk enduring the type of heat that will have you begging for water breaks like a mother to be there. Are no do-overs. So don't live too close to the edge and end up having your expectations subverted like Josh Brolin in No Country for Old Men. This life is a test. If you want everything you've worked for amounting to something, I suggest you don't ever rest on your morals and end up a legend of sorrow when your time's up. You better be prepared to get your priorities straight like a party pooper if you're seeking bliss in your eternal hub. They say you only live once. He says... Comfort and everything you desire awaits in a perpetual abode after death if you live for his love. So tell me, is this place really worth all the fuss? Life is short, annotate. Thank you very much. Jazakallah, hey, brother. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. It's an absolute honor to have you all the way from England, alhamdulillah, and definitely a case of home there. Um, in Kashmir, and it yeah, it was very refreshing to hear a British accent. So thank you for sharing. Which part of the UK are you from? I'm from London. Which part of London? Uh, South London. I grew up in South London. Oh, excellent. We actually have family there in Croydon. So that's oh, that's where I grew up. <laughs> yeah, mashallah. Um, okay, brothers, so we have a quick question. What inspired you to write that poem? To be honest with you, I've been thinking about it over the time that we've been in this lockdown situation. Um, and I thought about writing something a bit new and different to my previous content. And I felt like I needed to come back to writing something a bit more uh, in tone with my, my faith. Um, and I wanted to give people and myself, most of what I write, in fact, all of what I write is a reminder to myself first and foremost. So when I write, when I wrote this poem, I wanted to remind myself of what I'm living for. And I was hoping that mm. in writing it for myself, it would be beneficial to other people that hear it as well, inshallah. 
Yeah, definitely, Mel. Laura, award you for that. Um, and yeah. members, people, people yeah. want to um, check out more of your work. Where could they go to? Do you have any social media? Uh, please share that with our viewers. Yeah, Instagram's my main place. Uh, annotate underscore. You'll find me on there. Or alternatively, if you want to check out some of my material, then I'm on YouTube. Just type in annotate, and you should be able to find me. Inshallah. Okay, perfect. Jazakallah khair and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What? Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, brother. Uh, I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily uh, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success. And I can say, alhamdulillah, from the bottom of my heart, I think this was phenomenally successful. So Jazakallah khair. I want to say a special Jazakallah khair to uh, Tahani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and, um, you. and uh, you know, for taking the time out. You're also a mother. So, you know, it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties. So, I will be for that. And um, yeah, yeah. do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited from the event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you can see me now. Um, no further ado. Uh, you can find the strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Assistant Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakul Khair. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces. Each one was mind blowing and touched my heart. And I'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and a lot of poetry over the years, as Tahani and as Aisha can both attest to, we heard an amazing level of talent tonight um so may Allah reward you all and yeah i'm gonna close it right there and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh